Hi, this time I will show you the outputs of the game statistics. In the previous video you've seen how easy it is to enter the game statistics after the round of golf you played. This time you will see how much information you'll be, you'll be able to get from that entry you did after you played your round of golf. To start with I chose, I went to the uh, game statistics in the left menu. I chose a player who's Jana Melichova. She's one of the top Czech amateur players. Jana studies in the US and she agreed to share the data uh, for this instructional video. Jana has already played or entered 27 rounds of golf into the statistics in Bryson and therefore you can use the filters uh, to display her statistics. Uh, you can either display all the statistics or you can display only 18 holes, 9 holes, all rounds, last number of games, last 10 games, last 20 games. You can filter by a month, year, date range, score. You can even filter by a specific golf course she played and see the statistics from the golf course or you can choose a specific rounds of a certain tournament she played and see the statistics from there. I'll show you the overall statistics from all the 20, 27 rounds of golf she played. Uh, the first category is the summary. That's the most common statistics you can have a look at. Uh, for each statistics you have uh, some additional information what that statistic means and you can go into a detail of the graph of the statistic. You can see the trends, the averages, which then you can co correlate to uh, the training journal, the information about how the player practices, what training plans he used in uh, that time time before, uh, let's say before the tournament you are looking at the statistics from. So you can go through all these categories, the average score to the power, fairway accuracy, greens in regulation, in position, six, hole, six meters to the hole and the converted paths from this distance. A number of greens in, in regulation per round, scrambling, up and down, sand saves, average putts per round, average putts in regulation, and then you can go into the detailed statistics for the scoring, and you can go even deeper in the total number of rounds over par, even par, below par, score on the par 3s, 4, 5s and you can see it in the graphics and many and many more information about the scoring which you, again you can then identify uh, the things you need to work on and create the training plans focused on these parameters in the game statistics. You can have a look on the statistics from the tee, how she's hitting the fairway, where she's missing, and you can even see the statistics with different golf clubs she's using of the tee. Very similar with the shots to, to the green, you can see the percentage of hitting the green and missing right, left, long, short, in line. You can see all the information about the greens in the regulation. And you can also see the shots to the green by each club, which you can have in this kind of the display or you can use the charts but I really like this display because you can see with the clubs you're using frequently for your approach. Well, 
like the nine iron you've got quite a lot of data in here already from the 27 games it's 54 attempts so you can definitely learn something from this information we gather very important statistics is the proximity to the hole and we've got even the proximity to the hole differentiate by each of the putting corridors the distance corridors on the green the distance left less than one meter of the hole one to three meters three to six six to ten ten to twenty and twenty meters plus so you can see the, the accuracy of the approach shots and again in a different display in here which you can again change into the different graphs next section is the game around the green the short game if you want to so the basic information about the scrambling up and downs send saves and the overall short game performance here are the putting statistics like the average putts per round putts per hole putts per green in regulation putts per missed green in regulation number of one putts two putts three putts and more and the percentage and even the percentage of the putting from each of the distance corridors we are using in the application a number of three parts from all the distances we we measure and the last section is the best streaks like the consecutive hitting of fairways consecutive greens in regulations and saves holes below par etc so these are the information you can take from your games you can discuss it with your coach or by yourself learn from it design the training plans then use your training or uh, the training journals for uh, keeping the records of your activity and then evaluate after some time and see if uh, the training you decided for had an impact on the parameters of the game statistics and on your scoring overall so this is the game statistics the more data you will have there the better so just make sure that you will enter each game statistics after all the rounds you played whether it's a practice round or a competitive round which you can do so play well